the nerve impulses have an electrical nature and move in one direction. Over 100,000 million neurons in your body transport the nerve impulses without touch. They move through a synaptic gap with the help of chemical transmitters. Can you imagine? Hi everyone, I am Adnan Mizar Sumarmad. I am going here to present my online course of Atlantic International University Healthy Life. This lesson number nine will be about the brain and nerve system. You are welcome. The main function of the nerve system is to organize all movements of the body so that the body can react and adapt to both inside and outside of the modified. This divides the nerve system into two parts. The first one is the central nerve system that consists of a the brain that has six sections the cerebrum that divided the left and right into two hemispheres everyone has four lobes frontal is responsible for logic and thinking parietal is responsible for integrating sensory information temporal is able to process hearing information from sensory receptors and occipital is able to process sensory visual inputs the cerebellum is located in the bag of the brain and is important for muscle coordination balance posture and muscle tone the dencephalon is located between the cerebrum and midbrain and the substance of two structures that thalamus which directs the sensory impulses to the cerebrum and controls the hypothalamus and regulates the autonomic nerve system such as temperature, appetite, sleep, as well as narrowing and widening of the blood vessels. Important role in emotional reactions such as anger, fear, pleasure, and affection. The midbrain sits under the brain and is responsible for the eyes and the hearing reflexes. The pawns are located under the brain and are responsible for some reflex acts. The medulla oblongata is located at the base of the brain stem, is attached to the spinal cord and for the function of the heart and the blood vessels, digestion, breathing, coughing, sneezing, and the blood pressure. Like the rest of the body, the spinal cord is the connection between the brain and the nerve is divided into four regions the first one is cervical the second is thoracic the third one is lumbar the fourth is spinal nerves consisting of the afferent which transports information from the body to the brain and the efferent which transports signals from the brain to the body.
The second one is splitting the peripheral nerve system into two specific systems. A. Somatic is responsible for carrying the motor and sensory system. It consists of nerves that communicate with the skin, the sensory organ, and the muscles of the skeleton. B. Autonomic is also responsible for almost all voluntary muscle movements and for processing sensory input from external stimuli such as sound, touch, and vision. This mechanism enables the muscles to connect to the nerve system via afferent sensory neurons, which facilitates the inward information from the nerve to the central nerve system, and via efferent motor neurons, which direct the body from the central nerve system to the muscle fibers in the nerve system. The autonomic nerve system is divided into sympathetic nerve system, which arises from fighting or flight function, while the parasympathetic nerve system normalizes the body after the danger has disappeared. The main function of neurons is to transmit instructions to the central nerve system called afferent and to the central nerve system called efferent. This happens through two main types of neurons. The first is the motor neurons and the second is sensory neuron. But there is an interneuron also which I will briefly describe in this lesson. Spinal cord motor neurons are part of the central nerve system, CNS, which interacts with muscles, glands, and organs throughout the body. Such neurons transmit impulses like those in your stomach from the spinal cord to the heart and skeletal muscles and those directly regulate all of our muscle movements there are actually two main types of motor neurons those that move from the spinal cord to the muscle first are referred to as the lower motor neurons. So those that run between the spinal cord and the brain are referred to as the upper motor neurons. Motor neurons must be the most common type of body plan for nerve cells. They are multipolar, each with one oxon and many dendritis. Sensory neurons are the nerve cells that are stimulated by sensory feedback from the environment. For example, if you are stabbed with your fingertips, it is sensory neurons that fire and send messages about the feedback they have already sent to the rest of the central nerve system. The inputs that activate sensory neurons are related to all human sense can be physical or chemical. Therefore, elements such as sound, touch, heat, or light can be a physical input. A chemical input comes from taste or smell and is then sent from the neurons to the brain. Most sensory neurons are pseudonubular, 
which means that they have only one oxone that is divided into two branches. Interneurons, as the title says, are the ones in between. They connect the spinal motor with the sensory neurons. Interneurons can also interact with each other and transmit signals between sensory and motor neurons, creating circuits of different complexity. Like motor neurons, they are multipolar. Nerve impulses are electronic in nature and have a very small physical distance between the nerve cells, called the synaptic distance or synaptic gap. This allowed the electronic nerve impulse to be passed from the presynaptic neuron like a valve through the vesicle which contains the chemical transmitter to the postsynaptic neuron, which means only sending and receiving but not vice versa. The transmission of the electrical nerve impulses moves just in one way from the presynaptic neuron polarized than that contain physical with chemical transmission through the membrane to the synaptic gap than through the membrane to the postsynaptic neuron to generate a new waves of electrical nerve impulses depolarized to carry on electrically in the neuromuscular junction the chemical transmitter is the acetylcholine that allowed the nerve impulses to move through the synaptic gap to the muscles to generate the contractions. The glutamate is the chemical transmitter that stimulate the neuron activity in the brain. Here I am going to conclude. The essential nerve system coordinates all activities of the body. It helps the body react to change and adapt. The central nerve system and the peripheral nerve system are the main components of the nerve system. The central nerve system is divided into two main structures, the brain and the spinal cord. The brain is protected in the skull and consists of main six sections, the cerebellum, the densephalon, the midbrain, the pons, and the oblongata medulla. The spine is the central part of the nerve system and presents the key function and the connection between the brain and nerve system that divided in, into four sections cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and spinal nerves. Afferent and efferent nerve spinal cord that melts into the peripheral nerve. The peripheral nerve system is located outside the brain and spinal cord and is divided into the somatic and autonomic nerve system. Finally, in the brain there are several chemical transmitters. Each has specific function, like the GABA GABA, which is gamma amino potric acid, that works as an inhibitor receptor which bring you down by reducing the nerve impulses, 
while the dopamine giving you pleasurable impulses. Find your concept in each project. Thereby, you can practice to regulate and organize your learning. To continue, even you have achieved your goal, learning has no end. That is why I recommend taking a look at my 10th lesson in this online course. For a healthy life, that would be over the muscle skeletal system. Thank you for your watching and wish you a successful learning. Adnan Mizhar Asamarmad, PhD Health Sciences, Atlantic International University. If you like this video or this course, don't forget to press like or subscribe to get my latest publications. Thanks in advance.